Child, I damn near fell asleep on this long ass, boring ass episode of Hollywood Divas. Hollywood Divas, let's go and get into it. Um, this episode was alright. It just took too long to get to the shit, and I felt like everything they're doing is repetitive. Like the same shake, the same irrelevant folks, and the same outfits, the same wigs, and the same flip flops. Countess Vaughn, I seen you. I don't know if you trying clothes grip, but you wear them some, them damn same ass flip flops. Let's go and get into it. So, at least we still at the little thing, the little meeting. Um, of course, Crocodile um, teeth and left, and she pissed off and shit. So, they still talking about everything that's going on. Lisa, Lisa Wu bringing up their damn Instagram shit was, I think it was a little too much. It wasn't time to play for it, but she was feeling some way about it. So, she says she brought it up, and Elise wasn't here for it. And she was like, this is not the time. We were working. Why are you doing this other type of shit? Golden, like, girl... I'm already not here for your ass, so why the fuck are you doing all this kind of shit? Da, 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 da. And then they got to the point where Golden was saying, you know, Paula was saying, y'all need to calm down. And Golden was like, girl, you threw me under the bus too. And she was, well, you know, Golden, ain't nobody threw you under the bus, but you sure look like you've been under the goddamn bus about a couple of times, okay? Backed up and dumped on your ass. So Paula J just like, you know, I didn't throw you on the bus in what, what way? And, you know, they're going back and forth. And somebody said, when you threw that drink on me at that party, it happened 12 years ago. And they couldn't remember the date. And Paula said, well, you know, I can't remember. I think it was around 12 years because that was around the time that, um, <laughs> that motherfucking, <laughs> whatever the damn name of the show was, motherfucking <laughs> counselor. Yeah, she was so funny. <laughs> she said that was around the time girlfriend with counselor. Girl, that shit. <laughs> Oh, that shit was so funny. Go say, so you're being catty. You're being catty. Oh, that shit was so funny. Oh, I screamed so hard. I had to pause that shit when they motherfuckers said that shit. So, they, everybody ended up leaving, and Paula, well, not Paula, what's her name? Golden ended up making the jokes about Lisa Wu talking about she got butt injection. I don't know why she did that. Because Elise took her ass right back and gossiped this shit right back when she had a meeting with the child. Just a mess. They just a bunch of gossiping ass irrelevant hoes. But I, it's, it's cute. It's cute. So, Countess ended up giving it to Paula Straight and just telling her, you know, you got to let that shit go, bitch. You carried around, you carrying and hold on to this shit for 12 years. And quite frankly, it stinks. Okay? That's probably why your skin looks so bad because you got that funk ass substance carrying around your ass. You need to bring some, you need to boil some hot water, put some salt in it, and put that shit right on your face and let it cleanse your soul and your spirit and your goddamn pores. Because, damn, Paula. So, you know, Council was just telling us, you need to let go of that shit. And I was here for it. I, I was here for it. Um, I, I, I loved it. She just really had a come to Jesus meeting with her. And I love though. So, Lisa Wu and um, Elise meet up, and Lisa said she wanted to. Lisa says she wants to clear the air and you know, make it seem that, you know, she ain't that type of girl. Of course, that's just a way for them to have either share tea, gossip about each other, or gossip about somebody else, or get into it. You know, Y'all know how that shit works. So, at least end up telling Lisa Wu that, you know, well, what's the name made a joke about your booty injections, all that type of shit. At least, like, my ass is real, bitch. She can have some. And to be honest, she can. Paula can take that goddamn extra skin off her stomach and put it and make some egg go. Paula, um, not Paula, Golden. I keep fucking up your damn name because all your hoes look the same with the same resume. But, you know, what's name don't really have nothing. Like, she don't really have no ass. She don't have no shape anyway. Golden don't have no shape. I mean, she okay in the face. She pretty. She was. I loved her on the show, but she just ain't the shame. But she looks good for her age. I guess I'll say that shit. Um, so, Lisa said, I need to meet up with her. I need to. They get straight to the shit. Lisa ended up popping up at the dance studio that um, Golden be at. And child, she popped up on her ass and she was talking to her about some child. What's the tea? Da da da. Why you saying I got this shit? Da da. You got a problem with me? You got beef, beef. And I'm just like, girl, why are y'all doing this? Like, they going back and forth and impressed and pissed off. But Lisa, like, she will beat the shit out of Golden ass. And Golden wasn't here for it. She like to just talk shit. So that was cute. They end up meeting up again. Because they it just, just a bunch of repetitive ass shit, like I said. Like a bunch of. And Countess got on the same flip flop she had, so it makes me believe that they're going in and change clothes and come back and, and at least bumped her hair or some shit. Like, I ain't understand it. So, you know, they end up talking. And what's the name? Talking about Lisa. I mean, not Lisa. Paula saying that she got 
you know, she gonna be the judge, the jury, and the executioner, all that type of shit, but she ain't gonna be able to make it some days. So I'm like, you know, girl, like, what are you talking about, girl? You had, like, you had club appearances or you got bookings or some shit. Girl, go sit the fuck down. And counter said, you know, she got to go to surgery, but she'll make it. I'm like, girl, y'all just ain't, uh, it's just, y'all getting on my damn nerves with this damn elementary ass motherfucking black history play y'all doing. Like, it's a fucking mess. Um, so I guess they agreed to have Forrest as the da da da. They gonna all came together with him being it, and you know they sharing information. They sharing like I that wasn't sharing ideas. Girl, see, I ain't talking your ass. Be quiet. Shut up. Ain't nobody talking to you. She talking. Ain't nobody said nothing. So counseling them, telling them about the surgery that she was getting ready to have, and Golden put her two cents and said, you know, I'm not. I don't know how I feel about that. Get the sun in the sky. You know how I feel. Don't nobody give a fuck. Let the bitch get the, the suck, the fat sucked out of her ass and she'll be okay. They ain't got nothing to do with you, Golden. They ain't got nothing to do with you. So they talking. And um, next thing you know, what's the name? Paula hands out the damn email address to get in contact with Forrest. But it's the, it's the same information. It's the same email address, I guess, that Paula been using for herself. But if you look at the, if you look if you look at the paper, when um, Golden had her hands up, the email address said Forrest. They had it blocked out, but you can see what Forrest. So I'm just maybe there was some shit that they made up, or I don't understand. But it, 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 it had Forrest on it, so I don't know. They just made up some shit to get some kind of storyline with Paula thinking that Golden wants to fuck her damn man. Girl, don't nobody want your damn man. A job don't even want your damn man. Okay. Um. I, it's just, but you know, your husband could have had his own email address if that's okay. I don't understand this shit. Either. And Golden had told Paula, "You holding on so tight, you trying because you feel you feel some insecure, some shit about your man, and you holding on him too tight, and you can't see the far because the tree is no point intended." That shit was funny, Golden. I, I like that. I like that part. So I guess Paula felt some type of way, so she didn't went to uh, China Inn and she didn't got her ass some Chinese food and some. Lo mein noodles and some. She didn't put the roaches to bed. She told him to go to bed early. She had to let the lights on for a couple minutes so it won't shock them and they be running all around and shit. And she took her and she didn't pour, pour, popped out the cooked champagne and they drinking champagne and cheap ass Chinese food. I ain't get it. So they having, they talking and stuff and. And she just basically telling him, you know, I'm just, I, I don't want them to think I'm insecure. I just don't want to do da 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 And I'm not the boss, da 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 And he look at her like, bitch, yes, you are. Yes, you are. So that shit was funny as hell. And he was, and she was just talking to him. And he wasn't paying her ass no attention. I bet Paula gets, I bet Paula gets on far as fucking nerves. I bet he does. That's, you took that train to nowhere. So I guess you have to deal with it far as, um, so they looking for a church to do their little black history play or whatever, black, black history play or movie, whatever they're trying to do because it's a fool. And I think it was Countess and Golden end up finding a church that, that Gold, well, Countess knows about. So they get on the, 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 the a pool pit and start playing and oh, start doing it. I'll deliver. I ain't gay. Da, 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 da. They start you know, acting a fool, start doing that hocus pocus type shit. And I, I was here for it. It was fun as hell. They said, hey, hey, and, the, and the, all that. Because most of all this shit is a show. Y'all already know that it is. Most of them black church be doing that shit. That shit be for a show, honey. They might as well be on um, PBS and these other stations at 12 o'clock at night in BET. They might as well be on their BET spiritual at night with the red cloth. And yes, God, and woo, -woo, -woo the, all that silly shit. Um, so they talking and stuff. And... Boris is kind of agreeing a little bit with, you know, he kind of, you know, working on the, um, the script as far as Golden's character. And Golden is appreciative. And she's like, okay, I see who the ally is in my, in my marriage and, and we're in their marriage. And um, Paula looked at her like, girl, this is my man. Like, Paula, I don't understand why you think somebody wants you. I'm still not understanding why your tic-tac-toe, yeah. every other dose of tooth looking ass is getting so upset i just don't understand i don't know why your chiclet mouth ass is trying to get pressed about somebody wanting your man girl don't nobody want no man like i said a job barely wants your damn man honey you see where y'all at 
Uh, like, girl, like, I can't, I can't understand. So, Paula, Paula thought, you know, they, they doing a the little damn thing. They read the lines and shit. I guess the reading. And it just sounded like a black history play. It, it sounded so foolish. It just looked like an elementary style project. And it was a fool. And, um... Paula was just saying she can't make some of the shooting. She ain't gonna be able to make them. Like, girl, Paula, what you got going on? But you can't make them. Like, oh, like, girl, wait, Paula, why you can't make it to some of the shootings? Why you can't make it to the shooting? Tell us why. Where you working at, Chipotle? Where your ass working at? You, you, when folks come to Walmart, you highlighting how many items they got, girl. Paula, what is your ass doing? You know what? Let's have a quick prayer for Paula and her grill. I'm asking you right now that you get Miss Barbecue, Miss Barbacoa teeth together. Put her teeth, make them together in common denominator style. Make them agree with themselves. Make them touch and agree because they're separate, but not equal. Greater than, less than negative 20. I'm asking you to touch her edges, touch her hub, and touch her bank account. Touch them cockroaches so they can stop showing on the TV. Touch them garbage bags with clothes so she can be able to get some real luggage at Sears. Touch her, touch everything. Touch her credit score so she can be able to get a decent house. Touch her income. Touch everything. Touch the, the outfit she had on for the next episode. I can see in the future it's going to be a fool. And Miss Dane, we pray. But, um, Paula, you know, it, it, it just, it's just a fool. It, it, it's just a fool. So, Paula, she ended up not making it to one of the little things they had. They had a little get-together. Well, little what's name? And Paula was not there. And neither was the damn... Neither was Forrest, and he needed to be there. And, child, before that, he had to, like... He had to be... They had to leave early because Paula had to be at work. And they got one car. God damn, y'all fucked up out in these streets. Ooh! So fucked up. God damn! So, I don't understand. They tried, so Golden tried to call Forrest. I don't know why she did that because they give Paula an excuse to go in. So, she called him and told him, I said, where, where is Paula at? Da, da, da. He said, like, she at work, she working. And they joking and laughing and giggling. So, that shit gets back to Paula. Paula press going off. She come back. She talking to ass and said, you know, they all sitting down talking. I don't know what they even have to meet for because, by, by, frankly, by that time, I had fell asleep. I was, I was over here doing the Beyonce. Over here nodding the fuck off. Nodding the fuck off. And they over here arguing and shit. And next thing I know, I see Golden. Golden kind of um, get up and shit like she about to go in. And girl, when shit finna happen? They do did a put it old damn love and hip hop type shit. Where they start going and they did the camera go somewhere. Girl, ain't shit happen. Ain't nobody knock the goddamn camera off. Y'all pulled that motherfucking bullshit. I'm calling you out on it. So, probably end up calling, um... Golden to Jezebel, like, and, and and you know what? I don't too much care for Golden, but she handled that shit right. Like, girl, I don't want your man. I I like men with job. Whoop. That was some shade. And, like, I'm just, Paula, you're doing a lot for somebody who's homeless. You're talking a lot of shit. you a lot of business for somebody who was homeless and somebody was staying in a rink-and-dink-ass hotel. Like, girl, I hope you're doing all this shit and shedding life on your terrible-ass situation for a decent amount of coin. I'm praying for you. No, nah, I'm just lying. I'm really not. I'm just telling you I am. I just hope you get your shit together at one point. This episode, like, it's going to be probably the same as this one. A dry as fuck. We're going to have probably one good part. I'm looking forward to it. I hope I get a chance to see it. Um, Everything is going... Quick update on myself. Everything's going good. Um, I just had to take a little break. I just had to take a little break. I needed some sleep, child. I was so tired. I wanted to do some more videos yesterday, but I was so tired. I needed some rest. Like... I'm just really, really tired. But I'm really loving this pharmacy tech job. It is really, really wonderful. It's everything. Um, I'm really, really liking it. I'm, I'm just, it, it just, it feels good to be able to do something, you know, a little bit more professional-wise. Or, you know, it, it feels good other than working on tape, work serving tables and serving and stuff. It, it feels so much good. And nothing's wrong with it because it's quick money. Trust and believe I've done that for a while. And, frankly, I wish I could do it. I wish I could find just a basic one where I can work on the weekends. I might look for that. And I wouldn't mind doing that on a weekend now that I think about it. Because it's quick, easy money. And it's cash in hand. But Miss FedEx is tiring me out. I don't, I don't, I think I can't do this probably towards the end of the month. Because baby, Miss FedEx wearing me out. This 
going to work at 11 30 at night and you know getting off at four like four o'clock it's killing me and it's killing me. i haven't had a chance to study because i want to get my certification for this job for uh for this form i want to be certified pharmacist so i can find an even better job at somebody's hospital or something so child your boy justin is trying to do the best he can i hope all of you all are doing well i miss y'all so much Sometimes, probably this weekend, stay tuned. I might try to do a live show or something or catch up. Or maybe sometime next week we try to catch up or something. Um, yeah, so I'll talk to y'all later. I hope y'all love my review. Tell me what you missed and what I should talk about next time. I'll talk to y'all later. Too soon.